Hi, this is Deborah at the Labyrinth, and we're here today to do a reading with Teresa. Nice to meet you, Teresa. Now, nice Teresa to already you. told me a few things about herself, about, you know, what she does for a living and what she does for entertainment and another living, so side job. So I'm going to stay away from that subject because I really, this is the first time I've met Teresa, so. And have you had a reading before, Teresa? It's my first professional reading, yes. Oh, okay. All righty. Well, uh, I see, feel, hear, know, and get the dead people. That's that's the cliff notes. I could go into a two-minute spiel, but I'm not going to. Sounds like a good movie. So, I know. I'd like you to shuffle like this, and then we're going to start, okay? We'll see what's going on in your life. Are you going to Orlando or someplace away from here within the next, well, it's coming up real quick, uh, within the next three weeks or so? That's insane, yeah. Um... My boyfriend and I were thinking about going to Bush Gardens for our birthdays. Good. You're going to have a great time. So go. Uh, the other thing that I'm getting is now, uh, your parents are both alive? I have no idea about I, my mother. I heard, I heard they were both alive. So, and this is what I saw. I saw a living room and I saw your dad sitting in the chair and I saw your mom in another room. So you confirm that they're not together. Yeah, they're divorced. Yeah, okay. Well, that's in your subconscious, those energies. So you, you, I think you're dealing with that now, you know, bit by bit, like a piranha. You'll get it. Don't worry about it. Don't beat yourself up over it. The other thing that I'm getting is now with you and your boyfriend, are you considering changing something in where you live? Adding something. Do you have a fish tank or something? Uh... Why did I see that? We want pets, but my boyfriend. I'm seeing allergic. this big fish tank. We like sloths. That could be a part of it. I'm seeing a big fish tank, like, like you know the big fish tanks where they have all the plants in it. And stuff? Yeah, like an a, a, like a that. Terrarium. I'm seeing that. Yeah, is that what you were gonna do? Probably. We love plants. Well, I'm seeing that. So it's a big one. It's pretty big across the whole wall. It's pretty oh, big. We have a tiny house, so that'll look great. Yeah. Yeah. That's good. Well, that's a card of money on you right now and intimacy. So you have things on the physical plane that are manifesting like real quick here. Looks good. Now, this is you getting ready to take action, but you haven't done it yet. And that is to increase your financial situation and also to increase your intimacy. That's good. The energies are on hold because, oh, there you go. You got to trust yourself. This is a card of prosperity and growth. There's another female also in your life that you like mothering. Okay, you need to stop that or cut back a little bit on it because that's holding you up. Okay. You're always wondering about, oh, I need to make sure this person... And you got a good heart. You really mm -hmm. do. And But you can't do it at the detriment of your own life. That's you got to look at it like that, okay? Because you do have a lot of prosperity and growth. Not everyone can be at the same level as you are, and you can't make someone be that either. Mm -hmm. I mean, you could give it to them. They could piss it away, and now you got to give it to them again. No, you don't. Okay. They have to have that from within. That's the story of my life. Now, behind you is a card of illusion and delusion and high emotion and bullshit. What you're looking for here is a better job. A better job. You want whatever you're doing on the side, you're thinking, okay, how can I expand that? And it has expanded, actually, within the last year, I heard. Mm -hmm. But there's another expansion coming. In other words, you're going to broaden your horizons with that. But there is another job that I'm seeing. You're always going to be doing two things. You know that, right? You're always going to be doing two things. There was one time where I was doing four, I think. You're going to be doing two. You're going to be doing two. Good. You're you're a multitasker like me. You, you're a workaholic. <laughs> yes. Yeah. You know why we're workaholics? So that we don't have to deal with bullshit mm -hmm. and emotional stuff. Really, it's it's a, it, it's it's us coping, but at least we're getting paid for it. You know what I'm saying? But it is a double-edged sword. This here is change of residence or changes in the home. It's right in front of you. I don't know if you were thinking of that, but it shows. Now, this is you. You're going, okay, I'm going to wait a minute. I want to see what I want. I want to see where I want to go. I want to see what I want to get. And I want to determine when. Okay. But that energy is in front of you to look at. I don't know if you're going to do anything yet. It's very emotional to you. And there's a lot of wishful thinking. So try to come down to earth on that and look at, practical and this is you this is you you're not stuck you're trying to say okay what do i want and how do i get it 
I'm trying to uh, decide if I want to reach out to my mom because she hasn't talked to me in about five years. That's okay. You can reach out. This is, this is what you could do. D you're going to reach out, but you're not expecting anything. You're making contact. Happy birthday. Merry Christmas, right? Mm -hmm. uh, you know, happy Easter, whatever. Any kind of 4th of July, happy that. That's it. If, if it only goes that far, it only goes that far. I do not see it dying. It's not dead. You think it's dead. It's not dead. Things are going to keep changing here for you. There is a satisfactory conclusion. Yes, there's a breakthrough. That's where you're headed. In other words, you're getting your head out of your ass and you're getting out of your own way to say, you know what? It is what it is. And I'm going to put the olive branch. If it's slapped away, well, hey, I tried. Mm -hmm. But if there's communication, well, we can build on that in the future. Any mother is not going to say F you to a child, even if that child's a serial killer. We're still going to talk to our kids. We're still going to love our children. We might not like what they do, but in the end, we're still going to love them and take their crap after they start talking to us again. Your mother will be in contact with you. Yes, you have success. You get rid of any impediment to this within, I would say within three weeks to three months, your, your boyfriend's also giving you advice on this. He keeps telling you, Stop selling yourself short. Stop saying, oh, I wonder. You're afraid of the rejection, but it's already rejection. Can't get any worse, okay? Uh, at least you can know, okay, I tried everything I could. Yeah. But like I said, I don't see it turning out that way. I see there's a lot of healing here within six weeks. Were you thinking of reaching out to her within the next two weeks? Yeah, I thought about it like last month, and then I was like, there's no point not to okay, this is this is children and this is healing mm -hmm. okay this here is your mother this one so this shows a transformation of energy and healing your boyfriend is also helping you here and you not beating yourself up and giving you that inner strength that you need he's backing you you're like I don't know what to do well you don't have to think about what to do mm -hmm. just you know this is also education for you within six months a certification, a license, something like that. So that's also very positive. Yes, it's legal. This could be something to do with a business. I just started a new job. Uh, it could be, this is legal attached to. It could be uh, certification, education. It could be insurance. It's something that has to do with your job to learn more things. So take it. It's good. You can always, no one's going to take that away from you. It's two things, actually. Another woman is helping you with this, I heard. Okay. There's another woman helping you with this. You're going to have a change of attitude, change yourself, and morph, which is good. Now, there's also here another job. There's another job here. Now, we've got another job within 3, 6, 9, 10. 10 weeks to October of 21. I have a feeling that's your side job. Your side job is going to improve. There's going to be another component added in it. I already know what it is. <laughs> You're going to come up with another, um, another venue for what you do on the side. Now, now Teresa was telling me that she does costuming and she does, uh, what else? Photos. I'm a character for kids' birthday parties. There and you go. Family friendly, friend, family friendly events. And we're actually putting on a ball coming up in the okay. next couple months. Uh, there's something else coming from that. I heard. You're going to extend that. Like when I was asking you, oh, do you do something with adults? You're going to come up with something. Mm -hmm. And it's not face painting or tea parties. It's, it's more of entertaining an adult crowd. It could be in character and then talk to people in character. It's going to be something like that. Or maybe a little skit. Something like that. And I wish you would because I'm going to need you. All right. I'm going to need you in, in the fall. So that would be a good thing. I think that you might want to look into that. It's going to expand your business to where you can now go to other venues that you normally were shut out of before because you were locked into the the uh, the locked into that little square of, of kids stuff mm. or young adult stuff, you know stuff. But it looks real good. There's also a trip here for you in November. Now, just say for shits and giggles that you and your mom start making contact and it's reciprocated and it goes slow. It shows here by November of 21, you actually are, fa I see you face to face. So in other words, she's going to be physically there. You're going to have a, you know, do things together, see each other. 
it's going to be very positive. That's good. And you know, it's a big relief on both sides of the fence because it's making both of you sick. Yeah. Both of you. So you just, both of you are thick-headed. You're, just, you're a lot like your mother. You see? Don't worry. Your mother's going to, it's going to be fine. Now, uh, there's also something here about a car. So I don't know if you were thinking of getting a car or something wrong with your car, whatever. I don't know it how to drive, and I'm, I'm, getting, oh. I'm getting an eye surgery soon to learn because <laughs> I, I was never taught. Well, it shows here a car, and it shows here October. This is doctor, so you said surgery? Yeah. This is October. I'm not seeing a major surgery with you. I'm seeing something minor. It's an eye surgery. Uh, it's get... minor, though. It's yeah. not a major thing. This is the surgery, and this is the car. That's good. So as soon as you get that surgery, man, you're going to be pedal to the metal. You're going to be, I'm out of here. You know, you're going to be driving all over the place. Don't need my friends to drive me anymore. <laughs> no, you don't. And I see a car here. There's a car. That's good. And that shows October, November. The process with the doctor is starting within 10 weeks. Mm. So it could be you're looking into it. You talk to the doctor. Maybe you set the date, da, 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 da. And then you have it. Yeah, I'm saving money right now for it. Well, that's what it is. Yeah. It looks real good. What questions do you have, Teresa? So I have just started a new job. Mm -hmm. I think with the pandemic, like mm -hmm. a lot of people, I've gone through jobs quite often for no fault of mine or theirs. Just, right. you know, it wasn't right. Um, and I would like to know, because I started over the last sure. two weeks, if you think it would be, you know, the okay. right way to go. Mm -hmm. Well, this is what I heard, but we'll see what the cards say. What I just heard was, it's good for now. Mm -hmm. It's better than nothing. But there is another job. I think before it showed another job here. It also showed your, your part-time job expanding, but it showed another job. I want to see what that other job is. Mm -hmm. And that has to do with that certification, of some certification or license or something like that. I'm getting my alcohol carry license for serving right now. Were you thinking of going to a resort? For my- For aunt, work? We go to a country club every month um, and we do mermaids for their pools. And we do, I think we did Rapunzel. And they have, and they have a, uh, a place where they serve food and whatnot? Yes. Yeah. If I were you, I put in an application. Don't wear your mermaid stuff. Of course. <laughs> Don't go when you're doing the mermaids and go, oh, I'll just go over there and apply. What you can do is send someone or, or contact and say, I'll come in in two days and, mm -hmm. and fill out an app. I have a feeling you're going to be working doing that because I heard something with catering. Okay. So do they cater also? I have no idea. I heard that. Well, there's, there's a satisfactory conclusion. It says, just wait, just wait. No, you, you, the money's okay. Mm -hmm. you're, not gonna, you're not gonna starve, you're gonna be fine. There is whatever's not working in your life right there. That's whatever is not working. Excuse the, excuse the piano solo. There we go, that's a nice piano solo, that's jazz. That's nice, jazz. That's okay, nope. Hey, they've listened to phone rings on this like constant and other people talk. So. It's part of a blooper reel now. I yeah, love that. Kind of, yeah. Um, Right in front of you, you have rising above negativity with the help of spirit. So spirit is helping you. I know you don't talk about it much, but you do believe in something and you do talk to someone. So don't tell me you don't, because I know you do. Oh yeah. All right? But maybe a lot of people don't know that about you. No, I don't talk about it because no, I worry about you it. you don't. Well, guess what? You have been heard. So spirit has the energy coming in for you. You're like, what do I do? I don't want to compromise myself and I got to play hot potato and jump from this foot to the... No, you don't. You're fine. This here is a card of changes for the better. That's how you see yourself as always. You're a go-getter. <coughs> you are not a lazy ass. You're very motivated. You're a go-getter. You have that inner drive that no one can take away from you. No matter what you do, you're going to have that inner drive. And I know why. I'm going to prove them wrong, damn it. Okay. Yeah. I'm going to prove everyone wrong, and I'm going to be the best I can be in spite of that, 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 that. Mm. Which, again, the workaholic stuff comes in, but I know. 
it's it that's what we do hey it could turn south you're not a drug addict you're not an alcoholic you're not in jail you're not dead there you go that's all that matters so there you go you you turn to take lemons and you make lemonade that is a legal document you're going to be signing for a new job it looks like this job is going to be going away within two to three months max it actually starts in two weeks you're going to feel the energy shift what I would do is start applying for another job while you have a job. And off camera, I can give you the name of an employment agency that I use for people, and you don't pay nothing, hmm. and I read them for free. Hmm. So the deal is, anyone I send over, they must get a job. Okay. So I'll give you that. They're very nice people. Anyway, there's a lot of heavy emotion here because you're worried about health care. You're very worried about health care insurance. There you go, springing into action. There's the certification. You're do, still doing two things at once. There's your car. Ah. This here is the side job. It takes off within eight months. Eight months, it's going to open up for you. You're not going to just be dabbling here and there once a week. No. You're going to have every weekend booked. You're going to have every holiday booked. You're going to have parties booked. You're going to have this booked. And then eventually, you're going to drop this other stuff. That's what I'm seeing. That's the goal. The That's what I'm seeing. Your partner is very active in this somehow. I think he's more of the uh, looking at cost and effect. Mm -hmm. Like, well, if you do that, then that's how much you make. And he's always trying to have you tweak stuff. But listen to what he says. You don't have to take his advice. But listen to what he says. He's half right most of the time. He's half right most of the time. So you want to keep that up. Um, now, with you and your partner, it shows here that relationship is growing. We've been together for four years, so I hope so. <laughs> Did you give him a time limit yet? Yeah, I told. So I'm 22 now, and I told him by the time we're 30, if we're not. At wait least a minute! Married. Wait a minute! <laughs> you're looking at seven more years. Oh yeah. The best years of your life when your titties are so high. No, <laughs> give him two more years. Okay. You don't want those babies to drop, and then you break up with him, and now you oh no, go and say look we need to decide what we're doing here okay. don't give him seven years okay that's like saying to a kid clean your room this month no mm -hmm. get engaged and then set a date you can have a five-year engagement yeah but at least you know where you stand mm -hmm. i think he's getting a little too comfortable me too <laughs> yeah does show the relationship growing though within nine months here it shows that there is an engagement here okay Tell him you want a big ring. Oh, yeah. At least a carrot. And give it to you, not on your birthday. I mean, on your birthday, Valentine's Day, or Christmas, because then you get to keep it if you decide you don't want him. Right. Keep the ring. Sorry, guy. What's his name? Julian. Julian, you're a nice guy. Keep it up. <laughs> Otherwise, she's going to ask for the ring on her birthday. Then you know. So uh, what questions do you have? It looks like your relationship's going well. Your job is mutable. It's still in flux. And then the side job is about to expand. So you're really in transition here. Good. That's good. The thing with your mom, like I said, is going to work out. But as far as your job, it looks good. You're really upset about the health care. I do see health care, but I see uh, it, is, it is minimal. So it is a minimal health care. Because I'm so young, I have my, my parents' plan because I'm so young until I'm 26. But I, I'm also a veteran, um, and I go through the VA for almost all of my care. Nice. Um, so that might be changing. Well, I don't see, you see, if, if the, with the VA, I see that you still get perks for that for the rest of your life. That's good. I see that. So I wouldn't worry about, use the VA as much as you can. They're, they're really marvelous. My father-in-law was with the VA. Mm -hmm. He was in World War II. And he, at the end of his life, he got a lot of, a lot of things from the VA. They took care of him. That's good. So get whatever you can with the VA, and then any kind of privacy insurance could pick up the slack. That's good. Because yeah. in the VA, you either get real good doctors or real shitty doctors. Mm -hmm. You don't get in between. So it's like hit or miss. But yeah, it looks like you're going to still be getting that. Um, but you're very worried about insurance, but I wouldn't worry about it. I'm more worried. We started, uh, I joined the business in about 2018 for this mm -hmm. princess business. And in the last two years we've grown so much mm -hmm. and I just hope it you know continues mm -hmm. so well you could be what is called uh, 
uh, a performance artist, mm -hmm. not uh, kitty entertainment. Yeah. Performance artist. So, I sang a lot when I was a kid. Right, so it's more in character performances, which is pretty good. That's good. Yeah. Uh, what questions do you have, Teresa? Any other questions? I think that's it. All righty. Well, I'd like to thank you for being a guinea pig today. Thank you for having me. You're Anytime. Welcome. I wasn't too hard on you, was I? Oh, oh please. okay. All right. As much as you want. Teresa. I, I <laughs> might remember your name. I might. I I'm bad with names, but I might remember <laughs> your name. Uh, I want to thank Teresa for being here today and, and putting herself out there, you know, taking a chance with a reading. But um, I'd like to thank everyone for watching. And if you can hit the thumbs up or the thumbs down, I don't care. Leave a comment, I don't care. And also subscribe, all right? And uh, if anyone has any questions or they want to be a guinea pig, just put it there in the comments or put it on the Facebook and my cameraman will see it and he will set up an appointment for you. So until next time, until the next reading, thanks a lot, guys, and have a great afternoon. Bye. <laughs>